Easton Brown just wanted to help out. He was still in kindergarten, but when the Loganville boy saw his brother-in-law climb into the attic, he went right after him. Yeah, what followed next landed Easton in the OR at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Scottish Rite, though. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here now with his story. And Sinead and Tom being only six years old at the time, Easton didn't really think about the danger when he climbed into the attic, but seconds later, he was on the garage floor and in a world of hurt. All right, Easton, can you run all the way back? He's back to his old self now, but 2018 got off to a pretty rough start for seven-year-old Easton Brown. On January 7th, the East Georgia first grader was spending the night with his big sister, Brooke, and her husband, Heath, who went to put away some Christmas decorations in the attic, unaware that Easton was right behind him. I just tried to walk in and try to help him. That's when Easton stepped down right through the sheetrock. And he fell about nine feet um, onto the concrete floor into the garage. The impact snapped Easton's femur in two. It hurts. The femur is the largest bone in the body. It's the strongest bone in the body. The very next thing I remembered is when the firemen and policemen came. I was nervous and scared at the same time. Easton's leg was swelling so quickly that an EMT named Brandon had to cut off his pajama pants. Easton started crying, no, I just got these for Christmas. Don't cut them. And so Brandon told him, if you let me cut these off, I'll get you a new pair of pajama pants. With his mom, Michelle Brown, riding along, Easton was rushed to a local hospital, then transferred to Children's Health Care of Atlanta at Scottish Rite. Honestly, I didn't realize how bad it was. By six the next morning, Easton was in surgery, and it was up to Children's Health Care of Atlanta pediatric orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Jill Flanagan, to fix this. Easton was young and still growing, so Dr. Flanagan needed to use something that would hold his bone together to heal without compromising his future growth. And so the implant I used for, for him is call them titanium elastic nails. Dr. Flanagan used just two small incisions to place the flexible rods. And six months later, she took them out. And she says if you look at his bone now, this thicker part that we see here where he broke, that would all look normal. It remodels without bone scar. And remember that EMT, Brandon, who promised new pajamas? That night, he came back with a brand new pair of Georgia Bulldog pants and a sweet letter. And today, Easton Brown is back on his feet. I feel good. It feels good. I can bend it and stuff. Are you going to go walking in attics anytime soon? No. Nope. And Easton has fully recovered from his accident and he is back to his old activity. And Tom and Sine, mm -hmm. you want to know what the old activity is? What's that? Walking around the house in his pajamas? He drag races. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> He's one that likes risk, which, mm -hmm. is, yes. which is good. Well, yes, I'm just he glad does. he got some new pajama pants. Absolutely. Obviously, that was a priority. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. That was so nice, too. So, so sweet. paramedic. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Beth. Thank you, Beth.